Hey everyone, welcome back to AutoStream US. Today, we're diving into a huge development for Tesla owners, especially those with older vehicles running hardware 3. Tesla has officially begun the early stages of preparing for a potential HW3 to HW4 retrofit program. This shift is tied directly to the rollout of FSD version 14, major software upgrades, and clues hidden inside the latest firmware. If you own a Model 3, Model Y, Model S, or Model X built before the HW4 transition, this update matters a lot for the future of your car. Let's start with the software side. Tesla has recently pushed new features built into FSD version 14.2.1, including upgraded parking modes, smarter driver profiles, and refined behavior in low-speed environments. These updates make the driving feel smoother and more confident, especially in tight areas where precision matters most. It's one of the clearest signs that Tesla is maturing its self-driving systems, both for daily convenience and for long-term autonomy. But what really caught the attention of the Tesla community were newly discovered back-end codes inside the latest software build. These entries suggest that Tesla is preparing the internal infrastructure needed to support a future hardware upgrade path for older vehicles. In simple terms, the system is getting ready for a plug-and-play retrofit from Hardware 3 to Hardware 4. While Tesla hasn't officially announced a program yet, the appearance of these codes is the first real indication that the company is laying the groundwork for it. Now here's something important. Tesla is not leaving HW3 owners behind. Alongside the preparation work for future retrofits, Tesla is developing a special version of FSD known as FSD V14 Lite. This version is designed specifically for HW3 equipped cars. It won't have every feature of the full HW4 system, but it will deliver the core improvements of the new architecture. The rollout is expected around the second quarter of 2026, giving current owners a clear path to continue receiving advanced updates and meaningful improvements without requiring an immediate hardware swap. The firmware also includes early signs connected to future autonomy. Certain hidden indicators reference the removal of the beta label from AutoSteer and define geographic zones for the first rollout of fully unsupervised FSD. While this doesn't confirm anything yet, it shows that Tesla is actively building the structure necessary to support next-level autonomy once the technology, the data, and regulatory conditions align. Another important piece of the puzzle involves driver monitoring and regional compliance. Tesla is working on an enhanced driver monitoring system capable of applying different levels of severity depending on behavior and location. The system also includes boundary alerts that help keep vehicles compliant with regulations as they move between regions or countries. These improvements aren't just about safety, they lay the foundation for future unsupervised driving and cross-border robo-taxi operations. Altogether, this is a pivotal moment. Tesla is upgrading the software, preparing the hardware, building compliance tools, and refining driver monitoring systems, all at the same time. For HW3 owners, this means better performance today and a clearer upgrade path tomorrow. And for the broader Tesla ecosystem, it represents the first real step toward a unified, next-generation autonomous platform. If you enjoyed this deep dive and want to stay up to date on every major Tesla breakthrough, make sure to subscribe to AutoStream US. Hit the like button and turn on notifications so you never miss a new breakdown. Big changes are coming to the Tesla fleet. We'll be here covering every step of the journey.